It says, um, it says, founded by the British imperialist and Freemason Cecil Rhodes, the round table functioning through a myriad of offshoots has been this century's most effective proponent for the creation of a one world government. Tavik Stock relies on grants for its operations from the Rockefellers, Carnegie's, the British Home Office, and large anonymous grants. Initially run by British military intelligence officer Major John Rawlings, from its inception, Tavistock was attended as a coordinated center for planetary social control using psychological shock troops, a term coined by Reese. These shock troops and white lab coats have fanned out across the planet, infiltrating organizations in order to implement policies deemed productive by the organization's strategists or strategists. At core, Tavis Scott consists of free Masonic British intelligence agencies, agents collaborating with the Hydra heads of world psychiatry, psychiatry to achieve two goals. One, a one world order where the nation state has been abolished and a single totalitarian control center established. Two, the simultaneous psychological control of the world or using their term, Sutri, I can't pronounce that. Sutri, it's like it's trying to say society, but it's Sutri. Sutri? Even the official literature of Tavistock is candid and admitting its abroad world mind control orientation. In 1932, German psychologist Kurt Lewin, one of the creators of the American OSS intelligence network, precursor to the CIA, took over the steering of Tavistock from Reese. Lewin was an early proponent of the use of trauma for reprogramming both individuals and society. His modus operandi his modus operandi, operandi, Salaki. His modus operandi, possibly more than merely an analogy, Salaki, an analog of the Freemasonic dictum, or, ordo ab chaos, meaning order out of chaos. Lewin theory was the origin and definition of the concept of future shock, written by Tavik Stock, associated Alvin Taufler. Although Toffler promotes the idea that current cultural deconstruction in Loveland is an accident, it is not. Bear with me for a second. Continuing. It says, Lewin's theory was the origin and definition of the concept of a future shock, written by Tavis Stock, associated associated Alvin Toffler, although Toffler promotes the idea that current cultural deconstruction and leveling is an accident, it is not. This Travis Stock signature approach, this future shock deprogramming of the subject to a vegetative state through torture and trauma for subsequent reprogramming is the reoccurring methodology for world mind control as well as cultural programming in the 20, 20th century. And that's what I was going to like, like get at because at the end of the day, you know, it's basically, it's all the will of the Most High, you know what I mean? Because at the end, they, the Most High will be exalted by the end of all of this, you know what I mean? You got people that don't even believe in the Most High, but by the end of this, with the with, with, with the uh, disasters that's coming, with, 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 with the terrors that the Lord has lined up, you know, uh, you're going to realize that, you know, it is a power and you're not it, you know what I mean? You got people so bugged out, they think that they create their own reality, you know what I mean? You can't even create what you getting in the day to day, but you're gonna create how your future is supposed to be. And what's that scripture? Bear with me, because the scripture in Joe where it talks about uh he still of his instruction while he sleeps goes to the point of this Micah two and one. You know what I mean? At the end of the day, you know, these Edomites, you know, they were given a lot of left hand information and knowledge, you know what I mean? But it says in scripture, uh, knowledge of wickedness isn't true knowledge. Bear with me for a second. Continue, and this is the book of Job 33 and 16. Um, I'm going to start at verse 15. No, actually, I'm going to start at verse 14. So lock you. Job 33 and 14. For Yahweh speak of once, yea, twice, yet man perceive of it not. 
so I can perceive it not. Verse 15, in a dream, in a vision of the night when deep sleep falleth upon men and slumbering upon the bed. Verse 16, then he opened the ears of men and still of their instructions. And you just you just heard what I said about Micah, um, you know, uh, two and one about they, they work up their, um, their mischiefs in their bed, you know what I mean? So just like we, we, you know, we get our instructions to do the will of the Most High while we're sleeping, you know, these, 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 the wicked, you know, these Edomites, they get their instructions while they're sleeping too. But, you know, they, they so much in the midst of wickedness, sometimes they don't even sleep well unless they cause them wickedness. Uh, that, that scripture, as far as um, wickedness is not real wisdom, is in the book of Sirach. But basically, ultimately goes into showing you how the Most High actually is in control. Because at the end of the day, ultimately, the, all of this is his movie. You know what I'm saying? He controls both sides. And that's this is one of my favorite scriptures because it always, you know, busts a, 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 a so-called Christian in the mouth. You know, a Christian to sit up there and tell you, I don't give a fuck how many years of you've been reading the Bible. And every Christian I've hit with this scripture, they look at you kind of strange because, you know, they're under the assumption of, oh, yeah, God loves everybody. And, you know, you got the devil and all this. But yet still not really understanding the scriptures because most people don't read. You know what I mean? It says in scripture in the book of Proverbs of King, it's, it says actually that it's the glory of the most high to, 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 to hide a thing and for a, for, for a king to search out a thing. So only a true king is going to get this. You know what I mean? Like, well, you got, that's why, you know, you got these Edomites and these people in power that, you know what I mean? Look at most people like useless eaters. You know what I mean? Although they set up this whole fucked up system. Do you not realize, you know, at one point in time, I was so stuck in the world. I, re I thought that by going to college, I could actually make a better life for myself. But do you realize that that is all part of their system too for them to make money? You know what I mean? You know how many people that went to college, got indoctrinated in that shit and can't get a job? This is the book of Isaiah 45 and 7. I form the light and I create darkness. I make peace and create evil. I, the Lord, do all these things. So I brought that out to show you this, that although, you know, this is wicked, but it ultimately is going, you know, it was all ultimately the plan of the Most High, you know what I mean? Because you got to remember, it's good against evil. You know, the Most High is is a God of balance, you know, at the end of the day, you know. And, and, and you know, if you believe in a God is just all good, when you, you got human beings that are capable of good and evil, you know what I mean? That's why you'll have a person that'll sit up there and he'll be a soldier and, you know, he'll or protect, my, protect my cousin. He'll kill for his country or his family. And that is not considered evil when he's protecting his family. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, that's just a misconception and some bullshit to believe that, you know what I mean? That, that it, 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 it literally tells you in the book of Ecclesiastes to not be overly righteous or overly wicked. Because you're going to do a little bit of both. You know what I mean? Like, I mean, like, you can't be over-righteous and you can't be overly wicked. So, Lockie, because I ain't mean to go off in a rant like that. Uh, continuing back with the article, it says, because um, it was talking about the programming. And that's basically what they did, which is, and, and, and like I said, people won't believe that's true. But look how dumbed down this society is. These people don't, do you not know, you got the same things that we're going through here. You got those people off in France that's actually standing up against a president. You, you know, to show you how dumbed down our society is, you know how many people, you know how much shit is going on in the world? <laughs> you got riots off in Hong Kong. You got riots off in, 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 in France. You, I think you got to, you know, you still got the turmoil in, in Venezuela. But at the same time, why would you think that that would happen here, though? Like, how could you, when shit getting worse, though? It's not getting better. It's actually getting worse. But then, to show you how dumb down people is, people don't, you have, you would think people, like, if I heard somebody speaking on this and I never took the time to think about it, I, me, myself, personally, that's why it's a beautiful thing to thank the most high through water Yahweh while Yahweh shot to be awakened to this. You got people that think they woke and they not woke, you know what I mean? Like 
you should, when you thinking about this, like you had people literally getting a fight over Popeye's chicken. I wasn't gonna make no video about it, but when you take the time to think about, it, they literally was fighting over some processed fucking chicken. That's not even real chicken. Now you you and imagine you, I'm gonna be honest, it was my people more so. You know what I'm saying? They won't fight for motherfucking when he shut down the government or you know what I mean? all these people that look like us getting killed left and right, but they'll fight over some fucking Popeye's chicken. That ain't even real chicken. That's why a nigga just gotta be destroyed though for real. I'm gonna stop there.